Hey everybody, I am doing the 20 questions for a homemaker or work at home mom. And I have the questions right here in front of me. And let's just dive right into it. Question number one is, have you ever had anybody say anything negative to you about working from home, staying at home? And I don't think I've had anybody say anything negative about me staying at home or working at home. Usually people are pretty positive, but that's probably because I surround myself with mostly stay at home moms and other people who work from home. Um, really the only negative comments is uh, that I get is from people talking about how many kids I have. Um, I guess I should have opened with that. I am a work at home, stay at home mom, and I have seven children from the age of 11 all the way down to my baby who is six months old. So we also homeschool and we have a homestead or a farm, whatever you want to call it. And so yeah, no negative comments about that. So number two. What is your favorite, least favorite part of staying at home or working from home? They probably really tie into each other because my favorite thing is always being at home with my kids and knowing what they're doing and being able to have a say in everything. But also my least favorite part because when I'm working, it's really hard for me to get away and work. So I'm always like overrun with children while I'm trying to work because I work at home. I have a, me and my husband own a archery business and so he makes bows and I make quivers and arrows and all that awesome stuff. So what is my favorite, least favorite chore? My favorite chore are the animal chores probably. I like to walk around my farm and see all my animals, check on the garden, all that. And then um, my least favorite is probably um, dishes. And that's why my kids do them. <laughs> uh, Number four is, what time do you wake up and go to bed? Well, it's like 12.30 a.m., so I'm not in bed. <laughs> I go to bed pretty late sometimes because I like to have quiet time. And what time do I wake up? I wake up anytime between 7 and 8 usually. Sometimes 6.30, but usually 7 and 8. Usually whenever the kids wake up, that's when I wake up and okay, number five, do you put anything on in the background while you clean, work, cook? It really depends on what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. If me and the kids are tornado cleaning, as I call it, we will put on music like just kid music for them and if I'm working, usually I'm watching YouTube videos because that's the only chance I get to watch them. So, um, number six, do you get dressed most days or stay in your PJs? Do I ever change into PJs? That's the question because I usually sleep in clothes and at some point during the day, I'll change into a new set of clothes. Um, seven, how often do you do hair or makeup? I don't wear makeup. <laughs> I barely ever wear makeup. I usually am wearing a ponytail and um, sometimes I'll wear it down like this, but that's the extent of me doing my hair. Maybe sometimes in a braid, but usually it's a bun, ponytail, or that's it. <laughs> sometimes down, but rarely any makeup, maybe for a date and that's very rare until my parents move here. Then maybe we'll be able to do them more often. Right, mom? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Number eight, what is your trouble zone? That's a good question. Probably my room. 
because it's my work room, my sleep room. That's where the clothes always end up when I never fold them. And also anything that's in the house, like when company comes over, it gets pushed into my room. So yes, that's probably my trouble zone. Other than that, it's the kitchen. And that's it. Okay, number nine, how often do you find yourself getting distracted? Hmm, always. I'm always distracted with something. If I'm not distracted, I'm distracted by being distracted. So, yes. Um, number 10, do you enjoy staying home or miss going to work? I enjoy staying home. The only time I liked working was before I had kids and then I had kids and no way, I'm not going to work. Unless if I absolutely had to, then I would. But I don't, thank God. Oh boy. 11, what is your never ending chore? Laundry, always. I'm sure that's the same for every single homemaking mom. It is laundry, always. Now, we did minimalize clothing because I have seven kids. The baby obviously has more clothes. The three year old has more clothes, but the five-year-old up to the 11-year-old, they have around eight sets of clothing each. That's eight shirts, eight shorts. And it really helped on laundry. I have laundry going right now, in fact. I've been doing it all day long. Okay, so no, my never-ending chore is definitely laundry. And, I mean, dishes too, but usually we can get away with doing two dishwasher loads per day and then we're good. Number 12, favorite way to relax or have me time. What is me time? I don't know what that word is. Don't have it. Just kidding. I have a once a month mom's night or girl's night out with my church ladies um and that is really nice other than that I do chores in the morning when I wake up my oldest will watch over the baby if she's awake and then um I go do animal chores if the kids don't help me then it's me time um also working in the garden Nobody likes to weed anything, so it's usually my job. But I just haven't been doing that very often because we just started gardening, so. That could also go in with the never ending chore because weeds. Okay, 13, how often did your husband chip in? All day, every day. Thank God he stays at home too. We have a business, like I said, and so he is here with me. He goes into the garage to work, but um, he's in at lunch for nap time. He helps put the little kids to bed. And um, by bedtime, he's also in to help put them to bed, which is big help because bedtime is a cruel joke. All right. So yes, every day, all day, he is here to help. If I need him, I can send the um, kid, the trouble kids, whoever's in trouble or whatever, I can send them out to him in the garage. And it's just really great to have him here. So, 14, if you have kids, when do you find time to do chores? Um, like I said, the animal chores get done in the morning. Right when everybody wakes up, they're usually watching like a cartoon or something. And then um, the rest of the chores just get done whenever they need to get done. Um, school, I guess, could be a chore. And that gets done um, usually in the mornings into the afternoon and then Whenever it gets done, it gets done. Um, let's see, 15, how do you balance being a homemaker and YouTube? I don't, that's why I don't come out with videos very often. 
In fact, this video was supposed to be done probably months ago, and I just kept forgetting to do it, and kept forgetting. I did have a goal at the beginning of this year to do one video each week, and that is not happening. It hasn't been happening, but hopefully I'll be able to start doing video updates soon. Oh, what's going on in the farm? Okay, 16, what is your favorite room in your home and why? Well, this behind me is my baby's little nursery area and my room, and it's my favorite little area. And why? Because it's the best decorated place in the house. <laughs> 17, least favorite room and why? I don't really have a least favorite room. Maybe, nope, don't have one. Number 18, do you feel your home reflects your personal style? I guess so, plain and simple. <laughs> There's no paint, nothing. Just whatever came with it when we bought it. But I am starting to decorate like this, right here. I love it. 19, what does your home smell like? know whatever scent I have going on or whatever I don't know what it smells like ask somebody that visits number 20 what is your strong point and weak point in homemaking my strong point is probably um, This is a hard one. Strong point is probably just always being there. <laughs> and my weak point is my cleanliness, probably. Um, well, disorganization, we'll say. Um, like, there's just clutter everywhere, you know. The laundry's not always done. There's not, it's not always perfect and baseboards are white and all that crap. Um, but my kids are happy and I guess that's all that's important, right? They're healthy, they're happy, yay. <laughs> um, so those are all the questions and I am going to tag Jesse at Arrow Ridge to do this and I'll put all the questions below in the comment section for her. And I'm sorry for taking so long, Jesse. <laughs> uh, I asked her if she wanted to do this challenge. I don't even know when I asked her, but it was so long ago. So I'm only gonna tag her because I don't know who else would like to do the challenge but hey if you're a subscriber to me and you would like to do the challenge go for it and um, it's really fun and challenges are fun in general so that wraps it up and I hope you have a great day thanks for watching and go check out Arrow Ridge because their videos have been really really cool lately I love watching their channel. Um, they started this um, new, like every week they're doing a um, video on Friday about, um, it's called Pharmacy Friday. Farm as in farm. Pharmacy, it's really cool. And she's doing like uh, found items, like foraging, that's the word, foraging for items and they're like medicinal and um, it's really cool. I've been following it and I really like it. So I'm gonna keep watching it and you should watch it too. So that's it, have a great day. Check out Arrow Ridge and God bless you. Good night.